very cold Idaho morning. Actually, it's quite windy too, so it may mess with our audio. We're hoping the video works good for you, but you'll catch a little breaks in the because of the wind. But we're looking at a very neat, absolutely cool 1956 Chevy ton and a half truck. It's actually a 4400 series truck. Uh, it's received a full body off style resto mod style or resto yeah resto mod style restoration on it. I've done several trucks for this gentleman over the years and they're always really special and very neat. He actually does them for a therapy basis and uh, he's got it to a point where he needs to have another project to do. He never charges for his time when it comes out to building one of these things so they're actually very good buys. Uh, we're going to walk around and tell you what we know. It's The whole chassis has been powder coated. It has an uh, updated axle in the front. has updated axles in the rear. It has an updated 350 Chevy V8 crate engine underneath the hood with a uh, 330 horse, 380 foot-pounds of torque, turbo 350 automatic transmission. actually has air conditioning and disc brakes on the front. He's run redone. It has This is a 57 Chevy hood and the 57 Chevy uh, trim work here. So the hood's a 57, the truck's a 56. The grill work, all the bright work. I would tell you, every nut and bolt on this truck, this gentleman is just super tedious. Uh, has all LED lighting in the front. It's a two-tone uh, Dodge Viper Red, and this is a Mercedes color gray, and you'll see the two-tone on the back of the cab. We'll actually cover the undercarriage and video for you here. But we'll give you a little peek here and to kind of just show you that it's a nut and bolt style restoration. You want to stay and watch the end of this video. It would definitely be something to do. The finish on it is high quality professional top to bottom. We'll get back to the bed here and share the bed with you and cover it with you. It's a 14 foot bed on it. So it's a ton and a half, 4400 series. I think I already said that. But every nut and bolt, it's tedious. It takes him multiple years to build these. He's had this done for several years and it's kept under lock and key and, and uh, in the units here and he just takes care of his stuff. All the gaps, door gaps are beautiful. All the bright work is high-end, high show quality. He actually shows these trucks. Has ultra uh, wheels on it. You'll see where the two-tone is on the cab here catch me shaking a little bit today it's in the 30s and the winds blowing so you get the idea the dash is all wonderfully done again it does have air conditioning it has nice adjustable bucket seats with an audio system we'll go around to the other side and cover that with you here shortly but you'll see as the finger guards on the door here the bed and all the woodworks a lot of the time is spent by this gentleman himself the bed is a uh, custom built for him it's all aluminum for this truck it has a uh, GM 10 and a half inch size carrier rear differential in it with a uh, tag axle in the back has a 50 gallon fuel tank here you'll see all the button head hardware and you can actually see the reflection of my uh, jeans in the side of it here <laughs> little pinstripe scrolling on the side of the oak bed here SR Express but Stewart always builds spectacular trucks and if you'd like something that's unique and different and you want to go to the car show with it man oh man that's the fun part about my job is you get to see so many different things you'll see how the bed itself is highly polished looks like the wind has given us a little bit of a break Again, all LED lighting across the back here. You'll see even the bed is polished, but all the hardware to attach the bed is all hidden. So all these sheets of uh, polished aluminum diamond plate are all hidden hardware. It's just, just spectacular. Um, there's a sheet, uh, a show board here, 4400. We're actually going to cover a lot of this in the engine and the under, uh, undercarriage, but we'll give you a little chance here to look at it. Step back here and let you take a look from this side. <laughs> Dig my job. Stuff like this just uh, is fun to do. You could never build it for what you're going to buy it for, I can tell you that. Little cabinet here, it'll tall all your show stuff in here, so on and so forth. 
all LED lighting, cab hardware here, door jam to door jam like we talked about. You can see the uh, CAD plated latches, has the factory van where it's supposed to be right here. GVW plate there, little uh, bow tie step, carpet underneath, the seat's fully adjustable on the E. Uh, so you can get yourself comfortable here. Show you the dash actually has the two tone, the same as the cab and the and the grill insert area. Headliner. <laughs> Call me a popsicle when I'm done with this one this morning. It's 98 degrees in Havasu on Friday. Dash has an audio system that actually works. There's speakers hidden in the console. It's got a nice little console here. Has updated Hainline gauges in it. We're going to fire it up here for you. See your backup lighting, so on and so forth. AC vents are down here and in the center. A gated Turbo 350 automatic transmission. You almost don't want to touch it. Either. It's just so tidy, you really don't want to watch where I'm putting my feet. 5,600, 2,600, or 26 miles, so 5,626 miles since it was built. Beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to hop out and let you hear it run here for a minute. We're going to try and kick it off fast idle. Like I said, it's cold. It cools. I'll just let you hear it. See all the LEDs on the dash. Left turn signal. Right turn signal. Gauge is at half. There we go. Now it kicked down. Talked long enough. Seat belts. Anyway, make sure you hang on to the end of the video. We're definitely going to cover a lot for you. Uh, again, the audio might be broken up a little bit, but hey, go to spudsgarage.com where we have plenty of still photos. Have a great day. All right, let's get underneath the hood here. Just like the rest of the truck, the detail on this thing is just unbelievable. What Stewart does with these trucks is just amazing. It has a uh, 330 horse uh, high output GM crate engine underneath the hood here. It's one of the GM crate engines where basically it comes from the carburetor all the way down to the oil pan, distributor. They're put together by GM. It has uh, 380 foot-pounds of torque, so it's got plenty to move this truck along just fine. It has a turbo 350 automatic transmission with a uh, shift kit in it. It has uh, GM uh, 10 and a half inch rear axle assemblies with 342 ratio on the front axle. The rear axle is a uh, uh, a tag axle basically so it's not connected or a dummy axle has uh, vintage air conditioning and heat in it has a uh, desert cooler HD radiator in it I've got a little cheat sheet that the owner is holding over here for me so you can't see it flex cooling fan he's got five six thousand miles on it we probably already read the odometer to you coolant recovery tank here uh, but you'll see it's just every wires in place. It's neat and tidy uh, This gentleman like we talked about earlier does it just for the therapy to do it um, Incredible truck. I always love come doing these for Stuart um, It's got uh, short tube headers on it with dual exhaust that exits out on the driver's side here kind of like a stack style the chassis is all powder coated. Hang on just a minute. We'll cover the undercarriage for you here. He's done all the fasteners and the hardware and CAD plated the latches. Anyway, underneath the hood, we're thinking you get the idea. Definitely go to spudsgarage.com where we'll have plenty of still photos for you. Have a great day. All right, we got the side cabinet over here. Wanted to share that with you. It's got plenty of room for you to store anything for the show, your cleaning supplies, so on and so forth. Kind of get an idea there. You can go ahead and close it up if you want, Stuart. All 
All right, there you go. All right, he's turning around just so we can uh, photograph the other side of it. Sweet. The attention to detail on this truck is just amazing. All right, so we're gonna cover the undercarriage here for you. It's a little cold, I'm bending over doing this for you here. This thing is amazing. Full chassis body off restoration. The chassis was sandblasted, powder coated. It has a M400 uh, motorhome front axle in it with disc brakes on it. Gotta go along here and share it with you, but extensive uh, attention to detail. I'm a little sniffly because the wind's blowing. Hopefully the video will turn out good here. Has uh, L235 85R16s on the front, Kona tires, leaf spring front axle. You'll see the detail it's done here. Full exhaust system, it exits over on the driver's side. 50 gallon fuel tank here. The quality of this bed, as I walk around and take a look at it, has a uh, 10 and a half GM, uh, 10 and a half bolt, I believe it's called, axle in the rear here, and the and the rear one's a tag axle that's been dummied. Unbelievable. Rear tire size, I believe, is the same. 235 uh, 85R16s, matching ultra wheels on it. Slotted style. Every nut and bolt on this has been touched by Stuart. Like I said, he does it for therapy. Does he? He wants to do another truck. I've sold trucks like this for him over the years. It's always a treat when I come do these. See the coilovers here in the back on the tag. Everything's polished. See the caps, the stainless caps on the end of the frame rails here. I'll show you back up underneath here. Huge exhaust, we'll fire it up for you and let you hear it. But like I said, and I always say, we're thinking you get the idea. Show you the bottom side of the cab here. Absolutely no stone unturned. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching the video. Give us a call in Spud's Garage if you want something special and unique. This could be the ticket.